So guys, in a recent interview with Andrew Tate, he spoke out against streamers. Guys like I Show Speed, Kai, the top streamer of the year, even Aiden Ross are getting absolutely amazing amount of viewerships each time they go live. But he said a lot of it is damaging content and damaging to themselves to become so successful at a young age. And before this generation, you wouldn't become successful so quickly because you wouldn't be taken serious in a big corporate business meeting. It seems like that's the main demographic. Like, I think my demographic is a little bit older than you, probably because I'm like 15 years older than you. But like... A lot of these kids with Twitch streams and YouTube channels with like fairly large audiences, you know, you've connected with, um, what are they missing in life? Like, what is it that they're doing? Everything, bro. Hmm? Everything. Everything. You know, the, the modern, the new generation, Richard, is fucked, bro. It's, it's incredible. Uh, let me ask you a question. Before the internet, did you ever know a 20-year-old self-made millionaire? No. 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 These kids aren't supposed to have this much money. Yeah. They're dumbasses. They're children. Because you know what's interesting? My pastor had said something like this, like in 2014, 2013. There was just YouTubers who had large followings and were making a lot of money. And I remember my pastor was just like, they should not be allowed to have this much money because this is not the time for you to be getting this much money. You're going to make bad decisions. And honestly, this is something you're supposed to get when you're older. Like when you've worked for it, when it's been like 10, 20, 30 years down the line. And obviously no one really wants to get all this money or all this wealth and success 30 years down the line. But there's a reason it happens like that. There's even just like 15 years down the line, like I think we can all agree we, it's better for a young person to get large amounts of money when they're in their 30s than they're in their 20s or like speed at 17, 18, because you are going to make bad decisions. Andrew just said that about Aiden. You were hanging out with whores. You're partying. You're drinking. Because you have millions of dollars in the bank, you don't do anything with that money. You're not. And obviously, maybe they might be investing and doing things on the side, but more often than not, you're just going to be making a lot of bad decisions. This large sum of money should not be in your hand. You are still a child. Before the internet, the idea that you could become a self-made millionaire at 21 was absolutely impossible. You, no one would even take you seriously in a business meeting. It couldn't yeah. be done. Yeah. But now it can be done. So you're giving all these kids money and clout and attention. Yeah. What What do you think they're doing with it? Dumb shit. Gambling, drugs, buying girls presents, so hanging sad. around with hoes. Stupid yeah. shit. They're, they're literally lost. Their souls are lost. Their hearts and minds are lost. They don't have any experience. What did we say earlier that money amplifies? We're amplifying children. Mm -hmm. What do you think they're going to do with it? Children shit. Yeah. They're fucking clowns, all of them. Every yeah. single person I've ever spoken to on Twitch, without exception, is a fucking clown. None of them are serious people. They don't take themselves. Wait, I'm pretty sure Twitch is still a young person's kind of game, young person's type of like timing. But like, pretty sure there's some adults on there who aren't um clowns. They don't take their income seriously. They don't. They're not even smart enough to sit and go. I'm making all this money at 21. Let me really buckle down for a few years and set myself yep. up for life. No. And I remember one Vine star, she was on some kind of podcast, I think it was a girl, and she had explained, you know, she was one of the few, or one of the few people she knew in her group, or in her circle, where she saved her money from her Vining, Vine years, and now, you know, she's still doing okay because she saved and she invested. Will Kai do that? I'm not sure. I think he has a better team around him, kind of, I hope, I don't know. Speed is really looking like someone you gotta pay attention to. I don't believe he's going to be doing too well as he is right now in the next five, actually next two to three, five years. Like, I don't think he's going to be, I don't know. He doesn't really have good guidance around him. Like, he seems very unaware of many things. And like, to my understanding, he dropped out of school. No, 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 no. You like a young man, you need to finish school and you also need some good mentorship. If I've learned anything, like a young woman getting a lot of money at a young age, she's probably just going to chill and not going to do anything. But a young boy getting a lot of money at a young age, that's a different story. And that can go left real quick. Like it can go really bad. But too busy fucking oops, I'm late. Oops, I was drunk yesterday. Cancel stream. Oops, oops. They are children. Total dummies. All of them. Have you seen any of them adopt any of the advice or any of the teachings that you've provided? I have faith in Aiden. He's the only one I have some faith in. <laughs> I don't know if he really believes that, but maybe he maybe he does. Because he, he got to mentor him a little bit for like those three or four, maybe that week or so. But like, he's just like, I think... I think Aiden could do... I, I'm not sure. So I'm trying hard with Aiden to show uh, him 
that if I was his age with his kind of money, I would be so far ahead than I already am. Like mm -hmm. I couldn't even afford to fucking eat. The guy should at least be in shape. Get a personal trainer and get a dietitian. You have all the money in the world. Why are you out of shape? It's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to instill something in him because if I can make him transform his life because of his popularity, it will genuinely inspire millions of children. Agreed. So I am trying and I am trying with a philanthropic goal, with a good heart. I have some you know what? I'd seen somewhere in the comments of like one of the videos I was just watching the other day and they were saying how like Andrew's trying to, you know, get Aiden to get the younger audience on his side. And I'm like, I mean, if Andrew wanted to get the younger audience, I feel like he would do it in a better way. I think Andrew to some extent does care about Aiden getting better as a man. But it, it was just interesting to me because it's like if Andrew wanted the younger audience, he could like all he has to do is like hang out with Mr. Beast or something like that, or maybe do some campaign showing he's like just appealing to i don't know what the world likes and he could get the younger audience getting on aiden's stream is not gonna get the younger audience to like him like that it's just that was just something i'd seen aiden, but the rest of them are completely lost they're they're, they're popular so you might have to correct me here because I don't watch their shit, but they're popular because they Twitch stream themselves playing like Fortnite or they're just yeah. shit talking each other online. Is that? That's another thing I don't know about. What do they? I watched a couple of their streams, but from what I see, they're just like playing games and just talking a lot. What he said. Yeah. Where they got their popularity yeah. from. Yeah. I don't completely understand it either. Yeah. There's a degree of luck in who blows up and who doesn't. And um, well, obviously, some I don't know if I would say that so much because I feel like Kai Speed Aiden, I'm not sure about at all. He said he sold his soul. I don't know about that. But Kai and Speed, like, they're actually very entertaining, they're very funny people, and they're also like they're very hyper, you know, that like that activity, that craziness, even if it's dumb, it always gets views. So, I don't know any other streamer who's also like crazy. I don't think is Ninja crazy. I don't really know. I'm not really sure. I just know that Kai and Speed, because I've been watching them lately, I've been seeing them lately, they are a lot, and a lot of activity, a lot of hyperactivity, it gets people like, oh, I want to see who this guy is, let me see who he is, let me let me check it out, you know? Sometimes there's some luck involved, or I don't know, sometimes some big event happens to one of them, and he kind of blows up, but what's, they end up being the background noise for children, so the kids who sit on the internet all day, mm -hmm. sit on the internet all day with these streams in the background and kind of semi-watch yeah. them with their semi, barely semi-cognitive uh, brains just ingesting the garbage mm -hmm. while they play video games and talk shit. Barely mm -hmm. sentient individuals on both sides of the screen. It's a very remarkable insight into how fucked the world is. It's truly, everyone on Twitch is a loser. Everyone on Twitch is a loser. And, and there's full-grown men on there as well, and I've spoken to them, and they're losers. All no, wait, wait, come on. I do think there are some people who are trying to build a following on there. It's like, I look at Twitch as like, not the next YouTube. No, I don't even know. I don't think we're going to have another YouTube. I was actually surprised with TikTok. I look at Twitch as a business opportunity. Like, if you do want to work hard on Twitch, you can make good money on there. Is he right, though, about it just being a lot of stupidity? Yes, 1,000% yes. But... You know, if you're a smart guy, granted, I don't know too many smart people who get smart stuff from Twitch. I'm pretty sure you can use it to your advantage. It's not like you're not automatically stupid if you use Twitch. People used to think that about YouTube. Oh, you're doing YouTube videos. You're going to be, you know, you're whack as hell. Like, no, PewDiePie is like rich. Ryan Higa, rich. Mr. Beast, rich. MKBG, like, what is it? Even the girls, Jackie Aina, Emma Chamberlain, like, they're rich. We all thought it was stupid back then. Clearly it's not. I'm doing one right now. So it could work out well, but to his point, it is very, it's just very much for children right now, as was YouTube, as was TikTok. It's for children right now, or at that time, a few years later, the adults started coming in and it it got better. It did, you know? So I don't, I don't want to like cut out Twitch people and be like, oh, you know, you're dumb or, you know, or you're stupid or you're a you're not a real man. I don't know what he would want to say. But just, you're not smart if you're using Twitch. If you use it correctly, you know, just how people do lives on Instagram and TikTok, you can use it to your advantage to build a following, build a business, build your personal brand. You can use it. Yeah, there was some 40 or 50 year old guy who was the oldest Fortnite player that you had a, a back and forth dial. The, the guy with the purple hair, I think he was in an airport when yeah. you were talking. Well, that guy, yeah, like, yeah. Like, this is your deal. Lost, lost yeah. people, bro. Just lost individuals, and it's I mean, not that one's the exception. That's a bit, mm. 
it's not me hating on the platform because I mean it's a video hosting platform, right? Yeah. It's just hating okay. on the idea of people sitting and consuming for ten hours a day some other person talking shit and wasting time. It's all okay, a big, it's understand. all pretty detrimental to Western society. I'm gonna try my very best with Aiden. He's the one I believe in most and I hope I can get something out of it. I really do wonder why though. What is there in Aiden that he likes? There was a tweet uh, about a week ago, Zuby put it out, I think. He said something along the lines of, you know, like instead of spending hours and days and weeks leveling your character up online in a fucking video game, you know, in your level 99 warrior with armor, whatever the fuck it is that they do, why not, like, level yourself up to level one in real life, right? Like, basic it's fundamental crazy. things, right? But they're not doing stuff like that. It's, it's you know, the, the, there's some people that can make a lot of money with these online esports. There's no doubt about it. Yeah. But it's not the same thing as competing in real life and, like, f like forcing your body and your mind through hardships in real life. Sitting here and doing this, is it's not even close. Yeah. Completely true. And also, the the worst thing about it is is that let's say you were to go out in real life and try your very best to become good at something and you were to fail, you'd at least become stronger, faster, better than you were. So it's not a complete failure. Whereas if you try and become world level at this video game, if you don't become top three in the world, the top three that get paid, let's say you're number four, you have learned nothing. You've wasted years. You're not any faster, any stronger, nothing at all. If you would have tried to make a basketball team, even if you didn't do it, you would have still gained some real world attributes. And that's what's so scary about this video game world. For every one kid who makes it, there's a million kids who just wasted all his fucking life. True. With the basketball thing, you know, just doing real life sports, maybe getting a real job, you learn, you interact with people. There's benefits to doing things in the real world. I wonder, I think his his thing is that he doesn't like the time wasting of just in this fake reality when the real world needs you. What do you see young men obsessing over that they really have no business spending that much time on? That's a waste of their time and their productivity and their and their lives. Well, yeah, I there's corn video games. I don't really know what else he might say, but I'm pretty sure those two are at the top of the list. And maybe drinking, drugs. I don't know. I don't know where he could go with this, but I, I do think corn and video games are top worst ones. I think that, I mean, consuming content in a whole is, is kind of part of it. You have to be very careful and curate the things you listen to. Like, obviously, this podcast has value and the people listening are doing the right thing. But there's a whole bunch of kids who are just consuming constant shit. Like, we're talking about Twitch and the garbage. It's it's difficult out there for young people. I think it's extremely distracting world. We have the biggest companies in the world with the most advanced AI and tech in the world designed to keep you distracted and addicted to screens, watching shit that is no good for you. Yeah. So it's hard. And, and yeah, the kids are glued to social media and glued to their screens and obsessed with all this crap. And of course they are because it's designed to be obsessive and they have to make sure they're taking it in a way that's good for them. Inside of my school, the real world, we actually have an entire course on regaining attention and focus because we notice that anyone be below the age 25 can't focus on anything. If you were to say, it is very hard. Like, it is very, very hard. I still remember, like, in college, they told us to, like, delete or fast from anything. I think specifically to fast from social media. And at the time, I was really a fan of, like, Instagram. Deleted it, like, the first day. I was so stressed. I was just like, mm. Like, I want it back. I want it back on my phone. And then eventually I got used to it. And I was just like, damn, why was I so addicted to this bogus app. And it's just crazy because that's the majority of my generation. Like, many people aren't going to go through... Well, some people may go through, like, oh, fast from this social media app or take a break from this place that you're consuming an exorbitant amount of content. But you're not going to learn that after that week or month or few days of not having that constant dopamine what is a dopamine rush that you're not supposed to return back to it the idea is to break free from it and then focus on better things focus on being better in other aspects of your life like i have more time in the day to do things now it makes when you have those social media apps it feel like there's no time in the day it feels like you're always rushing or whatever or you feel like you're always on edge because it's just like i don't want to miss out on this thing that was on instagram this thing that was on tiktok when in actuality it does not matter. Focus on the real world. Focus about getting money for your bank account. Focus on getting healthy. Focus on family, friends, doing things in the real world. Because Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, they're all fake. Here's how you make money. Go. 
they try, but after 10 minutes, because it's not flashing colors and yeah. dopamine, they can't, they can't do it. They can't read anything. Very... They can't focus on anything. They're just addicted to TikTok screens and just new video, new video, new video, new video. So like people have lost their minds in real time. They've lost their ability to focus on anything. Yeah, it's gone pretty bad. Our focus, our attention spans have gone, it's gone a little bit down the drain. I don't know how you make it better. I think it's just to delete and go cold turkey with some of these apps and some of these programs and then just work hard in real life.